The Japanese Ministry of Defense has revealed a new image of the Aegis System Equipped Vessel ASEV, in its latest defense white paper. The ASEV appears to share similarities with the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force JMSDF's existing Aegis-equipped destroyers in terms of the ship's shape and main armament configuration. The size will be of a different magnitude altogether. These will be massive, superseding even the two Izumo-class multi-purpose helicopter carriers that are being retrofitted to accommodate F-35 fighters. Current information describes the vessel with a standard displacement of 20,000 tons, an overall length no greater than 210 meters, and a beam of around 40 meters. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Japan's massive new warships will counter missile threats from China and North Korea. Let's get started. We are active on Twitter. Follow us there for real-time updates. Link in description section. Japan was set to expand its ballistic missile defense capabilities, with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's cabinet approving the procurement of two land-based Aegis Ashore missile defense systems on December 19. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is a United States Department of Defense DoD, missile defense agency program developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to reentry. It enables Aegis equipped vessels like Arleigh Burke class destroyers to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY series radar and standard missile technologies like SM6. The two Aegis Ashore batteries, the land-based variant of the Aegis combat system, were planned to strengthen Japanese defenses against China's and North Korea's growing ballistic and cruise missile arsenals. In June 2020, the Japanese government canceled the planned construction of Aegis Ashore in Akita and Yamaguchi prefectures due to cost overruns and concerns regarding debris falling into populated areas, etc. In response to the abandoned project, a new resolution was passed in December 2020 to construct two ships of similar capability for replacement. The massive displacement will also make the warships some of the largest surface combatants in production in the world. It will be twice in displacement compared to U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke-class destroyer and will far outweigh the Chinese Type 055. The huge scale of the vessels will lend its stability under heavy sea states, increasing missile interceptor loadout and increasing endurance at sea, similarly increasing combat readiness. The ship can accommodate 128 Vertical Launch System VLS, cells. Despite the massive stature, reports suggest a planned crew complement of around 110 sailors and officers with private cabins for all on board. This is as per recent JMSDF plans that call for high automation as response to the shrinking number of personnel in the force. These ships are also to be equipped to defend against hypersonic glide vehicles, new hypersonic missile designs too evasive for current ballistic missile defense systems to reliably intercept. The ministry has also made a $40 billion USD budget request for FY 2023, including budgets for projects such as the accelerated employment of long-range counter-strike cruise missiles to destroy adversary installations, with the possibility of an even higher bill at the budget recompilation at the end of the year. Most importantly, the new warships will have SPY-7 large radar, originally used for land-based missile defense. Developed by Lockheed Martin, SPY-7 provides several times the performance of traditional SPY-1 radars. It can detect, track, and engage sophisticated ballistic missile threats, including multiple threats at once. The Aegis batteries will be armed with SM-6 interceptors 
and SM-3 Block 2A interceptors. Manufactured by U.S. defense contractor Raytheon, SM-6 is a supersonic Mach 3.5 missile interceptor with an estimated range of over 180 miles or 289 kilometers. The SM-3 Block 2A features a variety of upgrades over the Block 2 version. It has a larger, more maneuverable exo-atmospheric kill vehicle with longer endurance. It also possesses an upgraded infrared targeting system that enables it to better distinguish the incoming warhead among the debris. SM-3 Block 2A is jointly manufactured by Raytheon, Aerojet and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. The Block 2A has a max speed of 4.5 km per second or Mach 13.2 and has a range of 1,200 km or 745 miles and a service ceiling of 1,050 km or around 650 miles. It is designed to destroy short to intermediate range ballistic missile threats, but tests show that it can be used to engage ICBMs too. PLA Rocket Force, or the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, has expanded significantly in the last five to ten years. The PLA Rocket Force is tasked with operating various types of missiles, including intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, medium-range ballistic missiles MRBMs, and other strategic missile systems. These missiles are designed to deliver both conventional and nuclear warheads and play a significant role in China's overall military strategy. Most of these missiles are capable of reaching Japan. North Korea's arsenal has also grown. The country, ruled by Kim Jong-un, announced on the 12th of July that its intercontinental ballistic missile, identified as a Hwasong-18, flew for over 70 minutes, demonstrating that it could potentially hit even the U.S. mainland. North Korea is also developing nukes. There is no doubt that Japan is in the crosshairs. In this situation, Japan's powerful new platform will be key to neutralizing incoming threats as well as enabling offensive actions. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.